Hello and welcome to this new course in which you learn long distance serial communication between two Arduinos. This is Ashraf from Educational Engineering Team. We know that Arduino has several built in buses for fast data transfer. For example, displays usually use the SPI protocol. Various kinds of sensors are often connected using the I2C communication protocol. There is also the popular UART or Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter protocol, which is often used with a USB interface to exchange data with a laptop or computer. But all of these methods have a serious drawback. They do not work at large distances. Imagine a situation where we need to collect data from sensors on the roof of our houses and depending on the sensor's uh, location or depending on our hardware and software setup, we need to transfer a signal from this sensor or these sensors to our Arduino on the first floor. How can we make it possible? We'll definitely need a powerful noise resistance interface, one that can be used for years. And in this course, we will cover this. We will cover a wireless and a wired long distance communication uh, methods between two Arduinos or any two microcontrollers, whether they are Arduinos, PEC microcontroller, or any other type of microcontrollers. Now, we often want to perform remote actuation of several actuators, such as lamps, motors, and other actuators. And getting this done from a distance is a bit hard job or a bit complex job. So in this course, we will make it as simple as possible. Now, what you will learn in this course? You will learn what is the main working principle behind long distance serial communication between Arduinos. You will learn what are the hardware required to make this happen. You will learn what is RS485 and how to implement this communication protocol in your uh, long distance serial communication. We will take down the schematic for connecting to Arduinos using RS485 and this serial communication protocol is a wired long distance uh, communication between two Arduinos. After that we will discuss the receiver and transmitter program for RS485. In the second part of the course we will talk about the circuit assembly and we will break down the HC12 module working principle for long distance wireless serial communication between two Arduinos. We will perform communication of the Arduino to Arduino using the HC12 module. And after that, we will discuss remote device activation. We will understand, we will explain how serial communication works with a radio transceiver. The last step will be creating a PCB for our project. Again, in this course, we will cover both wireless and wired long distance communication methods. I'm sure that you will gain a lot of knowledge in this course. So stay tuned. See you inside. This is Ashra from Educational Engineering Team.